Hello everyone, I'm Chin and you can call me Ken. Welcome back to Chrono Engine ABS Mode Tutorial and this is the extra tutorial. Today I'm going to teach you how to bind key to the keyboard config. So let's just install it and first let's just take a look at the parameters over here. So this is the parameters over here. Now of course you can't use the key inside the ABS mode. I mean the A key for the item, the S key for the skill, and the D key for the defense. And to use it, it was quite simple. Well, the fattest way to do this is just through the script. And I use Sublime to open this. Also, you don't need the Sublime. TXT could just do all the things. So first, Inside the sublime tags, you'll need to do something. The first things you'll need to do is to create a parameter. So let's just put it at okay at somewhere inside this parameter. And to help you do this, I've make a list. The whole process you need to do. And you can find this txt file just below this clip. And so first, you'll need to do is add the parameter, and then just copy paste these things inside. So just Control C and Control V, just paste them inside here. Then you got the parameter. And the second step, it was to define the parameter. So first, let's just find where it is. To find it, let's just copy this one, and then search it. Then you can see, just at over here, you can define the parameters. Then it was the copy paste, just copy them all, copy it, and paste it. Then now you have this parameter, and the parameter go to the next stage, it was to bind the key. So it was all just search, copy paste, search and copy paste. It's just this simple. As here it was the key mapper, and you'll need to define which key you want to use. So let's just copy it and paste it inside here and 68 is the D key and 65 is the A key 83 is the S key and after that go to the next stage it was the action key so again just search it search it Control C Control F Control V and then inside here you need to put it inside a switch so just put it inside a switch and then copy paste the script over here copy paste it and go to the next stage and this is the last stage it was uh, make a command list so let's just copy this one and then search it inside and put the script inside this function so let's copy paste the script over here and just copy paste it and after you finish all this five step then just save the file. You can use Ctrl S to save it. And later after you save it, that just go back to your game. Then let's take a look at the plugin again. Now this time, as you can see, there's the D key, D tags, A key, A tags, S key, S tags. And if you go into the game and check this out,
and to help you understand what key I'm using now so let's just use this now if I just simply hit the A key oh sorry because I'm not inside again so first if you hit the A key of course you can use the item because this is the default setting and so that's just going to your menu the options and now you got a keyboard config and going to the keyboard config now you can see the A key is just called the item and if you don't like the A key then let's just clear the A key and find somewhere uh, maybe okay T key so let's just change the T key to this item key and now let's go back and take a look so now if I hit the A key nothing would happen and if you just simply use the T key and you can use the item and if you want to change it then just go to your keyboard config and just change the item and of course you can change the shield okay maybe maybe a K key so make the K key to the shield and let's go back and okay now I'm um, being damaged and if you hit the D key of course you can use it because this is the default one and if you hit it and which key oh I just forgot which key so what is the key I just find it oh it was the K key so if you just hit the K key of course you can now use the shield and you may ask so where is the skill menu and the item menu well actually the skill menu and the item menu they are just page up and page down so if you just change someone maybe i key to the page up so let's find the page up or if you just change this to the page up and you don't need to do any adjustment to the page up because it was the default so now go back and if you just hit the oh I just forgot which key I key oh yeah so if you hit the I key now you can open this menu the item menu so it's just this simple just copy paste copy paste and you can bind the key to your keyboard config and this is the end of this tutorial. If you like it, please thumbs up or subscribe. Thank you very much.